As a wise New Zealand folk musical comedy duo, Fight of the Concords once said, it's business time. Hey guys, and welcome back to the 11th episode of the FM22 Liverpool Beta Save with me, Raxor FM, where today we are facing AC Milan and, well, AC Milan in the Champions League semi-final knockout stage. Obviously, it's a knockout stage, it's a semi-final. We've already won the Premier League, it's wrapped up, it happened in the last game. Sorry, that I didn't do it in the last episode. And uh, now we have to find out if we can win the Champions League as well. Well, not in today's episode, but, you know, we could find out if we're not going to... You get what I'm saying. If you guys are excited for today's episode, please smash the like button, as well as subscribe to the Rex or FM YouTube channel so you don't miss the daily Football Manager content that is coming your way on this channel. No like target today. Let's see what you can do, and let's see what has happened since last time we saw each other. Well, well, I've only played one game, haven't I? It was a 4-0 win, and we won the, won the Premier League. So quite a lot happened. But actually not a lot at the same time. If you if you catch my drift. I think you catch my drift. And now we're ready to go against Liverpool. We are Liverpool against Milan. By the way, if you didn't get the reference in the intro thingamajiggy. Fly the Concords. Show about two New Zealanders that moved to America. And they're a comedic music duo. That's just a really good TV show. So you should watch it if you, if you have the time. So you know what? Let's just... With that covered, that important information covered, let's just jump into the into the Champions League. I'm not certain I've actually done the the teams, so um, yeah, well, no, I definitely haven't done the teams, but it's looking it's looking strong. Let's quick pick. Let's quick pick. Should I go attacking? No, I probably shouldn't go attacking. Let's go down to this formation, Musiala, who we all know pops up massively in these big games, is definitely going to be starting for us. Who else? Um. So apart from that, that's about right. I think that's exactly what I'd do. Joe Gomez can start, though. Everyone else fully fit. Yeah, this is a semi-final. We've got to have the, our best team possible out there. Why not? Let's jump into it. Uh, see, you got to see some behind-the-scenes footage there, boys and girls. That's seriously, you know, in-depth stuff. That's what I do when I'm actually picking my team. So I've, I've, I've really pulled back the curtain for you. I'm sure everyone was very curious how I select my teams. I've got Florenzi. I've actually got him in real life, I've just realised. My bad, sorry. I, I thought I just discovered something ground, ground bag, breaking, but that's right, they actually do have him. And they've got Ibrahimovic, you know, Diaz, a couple of good players in there, but I don't think they're anywhere near as good as us. I'm sorry, Milan, but you're just not on our level. And I say that with them dominating this game statistically and having the first opportunity of the game, but we do get it straight back. And, you know, I'm going to say it again. They're nowhere near our level because we're going to score here. Mohamed Salah cuts it back into Henderson, who looks for a cross or something. Oh, I thought he was going to win a penalty. He doesn't win a penalty. He plays it into Salah. And who is there to finish his dinner in the big matches? I mean, you saw it, but, like, if I didn't... If you didn't see it, who would you guess? Who would you guess? You'd guess... Musiala, because he scores in every single important match there has ever occurred in this entire save, and I don't understand it, because he doesn't really score in other games, to be honest with you, but he's just so good. I'm just, I'm blown away. He was so slow to start this year, to start the entire save. He's been pretty average, but all of a sudden, as we've gotten to the business end of games, he's just turned into an absolutely beautiful central attacking midfielder, and he's only going to get better in the future. But to be honest, he's already pretty good. Like, I can't complain with where he's at right now. And I can't complain with how that first half has gone. As we're winning 1-0. And this time I actually am going to look. And I'm happy with the performance. I am clicking that on purpose, boys and girls. If you saw last episode, you know exactly why I'm double checking that. I actually meant to click that one. But he's just, he's just so good, man. Like we're, we're winning 1-0 because of this young man. And we're winning... With an away goal that is going to absolutely, well and truly help us in the second leg. And we could even be adding to the tally if we score here. I don't know if it's our chance is there on the ball right now. And Ibrahimovic is in and just hits the woodwork. I believe that Origi's on. Could be facing, well he is facing his former club and he could be scoring against them. I really hope he's not. Because they're back on the attack and actually, maybe I should give them a wee bit more respect. Theo, into 
oh, I don't even know who that is. It's Origi who ends up getting the shot away, but it goes well over the bar. And I'm going to make my first substitutions of the game. Fabinho is going to come on at right back for Alexander-Arnold. And we're also going to bring Sadio Mane off for Jota. I think that's all I feel they need to do. Mane has just been a very... If I get a big bid for Mane next year, I think I will sell him. Because he's just not been very good. And Jota has been very good. And he's like 30 years old. And he's worth a lot of money. And I, I like money. And I don't like that. Ibrahimovic at 40 years of age. Maybe that's a sign that I should be keeping around old men. 20 minutes ago and they level it up. I mean, a one-all draw is certainly not a bad result. Coming away from home... You know, we've still got the advantage going into the home league, but I would have loved to have kept the clean sheet. But if we score here, it might be okay, but Jota can't quite kill that enough. I could see what he was trying to do. And to be fair, it was a, it was a good move, good move, but just not the kill that he needed. And with 10 minutes to go, I think that we'd, we should be happy with the performance we've put in based off the statistics. It's not been dominant at all. It's not been comfortable, but it's been a performance that ends with us getting a goal and not conceding another one there. And you know what? If we score another one here, this is going to be an absolutely brilliant performance, especially considering the fact that the stats do not suggest we deserve to be winning in this one at all. Kese puts in Musiala. I really did think he'd gonna, he was going to double uh, tally for the day, but he hasn't, and we're ending this match at 1-0, and I, I'm happy with that. Based off the stats, we should have won that by, by quite a bit, but um, we haven't. And that, that shows a level of ability, you know. They say the good teams win even when they're playing bad. And we didn't win, but it feels like a win because we've scored the away goal and we have the advantage going into the second leg at home. As long as we keep a clean sheet, we're automatically through to the next round. Seven defenders? Sounds like a plan. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is for the Champions League final against AC Milan. We have the advantage... And this is the team that we are using. I think it's the exact same team as last time. They did enough at home, away from home, to get an away goal. Can they do enough at home to get us the win? Mane in the lineup, even though he's just come back from the injury and hasn't actually played very well since. But you got to back the boys. you got to back the team you've put out there. And you have to do enough to get across the line. This is where boys become men. This is where you earn your paychecks. And this is where you can become a legend of a Liverpool Football Club. And it could be tonight if we do manage to win this game. Five minutes gone and there's already a chance. Robertson swings it in. And I thought we were going to score from a corner straight away. But we've picked the ball straight back up. It's Robertson playing it back to Alexander-Arnold. Into Fabinho. Into Kese. Who shoots from range and puts it into the back of the net against his former club. And that shows a level of ability. A level of composure. And a level of talent. That man. Oh my goodness. What a pickup. And it, it's already looking like. that. All of that. What like 20 million pounds I spent on him. Has already been repaid. By getting us potentially into the Champions League final. And we could be adding another one. Martinez can't get onto the end of that unfortunately. But we've gotten it straight back. Musiala. He, he, he rises to these occasions. And we'll play it back to Fabinho. I thought the, the pass from Musiala might be enough to get us through. That one is. Mane's in. And Musiala gets the assist. And Mane gets the goal. I was unsure whether or not I should start him. Diego Jota. He'd come into my office the day before. And he said, you know what, Gaffer? I want to start this game. I want to get us into the Champions League final. And I said, no. Mane's got the experience. Mane's got the talent. We'll bring you off the bench if we need. But I back the boy. And I've backed the right boy. As currently... It is looking very likely that we are going all the way to the Champions League final, boys and girls. Oh my goodness, we've already won the, the Carabao Cup. We've already won the Premier League. Can we make it a treble by winning the Champions League this year? I mean, I don't know if that's the, the traditional treble that you'd be talking about, but it's still a treble nonetheless, and we could be getting it as long as we win the next game. But we still need to focus on this game. It is half time, and we are comfortably ahead. Two goals to nil. But it could actually not be that situation as we just go into halftime. Or it could even be a better situation for us if we pick the ball back up. We do. Fabinho, Musiala, he's already gone one assist. Lataro Martinez can't get it past the goalkeeper. And unfortunately, we're only 2-0 up. But that, that, that is still not a concerning result as well from the corner. A good chance. But that's got to be halftime. It is. 
and this time I am more than thrilled with the performance so far. We've had the possession, we've had the chances, we've had the goals, and we just need the final whistle now. That's all we need, boys and girls. Salah, on the right wing. Is he going to swing a ball in? Is he going to try and dribble? He puts it into Musiala. Musiala back to Salah, and he's won a penalty. He's definitely just won a penalty. And if he scores this, it will be Salah to take it. Who, by the way, has not missed a single penalty this year. If he scores it, I can just about guarantee that we're going to the Champions League final. Mohamed Salah to send us there. And he scores it. And that has probably got to be the closest penalty I've seen in Football Manager this year. Just underneath the goalkeeper. Crept in. You say that's lucky. But I say that's placement. He knew where the goalkeeper was diving. And he knew that he could put that in the back of the net. It's probably his worst penalty that I've seen all year. But it's a penalty that's gone in nonetheless. And with 30 minutes to go, there is no way this Milan side is scoring three goals to send themselves through. And with Mane picking up the ball straight away, we could even be making the day worse for them. Fabinho over to Martinez. Doesn't quite get to him though. But Martinez picks it straight back up and puts it into the back of the net. Martinez, take a bow. I was just about to take you off as well. But I've got to make a substitute. I've got to bring someone off somewhere in there. Just realise I haven't been starting Henderson. Where's Henderson? Goodness, I didn't start Henderson. I feel terrible. Henderson, no, you can come on. Lead us to glory for the last few minutes. Oh, oh, do you think he's going to get upset about that? It's Champions League semi-final and I started Fabinho instead of him. I mean, to be fair, I could probably justify that from like an ability standpoint. But you know, it's Henderson. One does not simply not start Henderson in a game like this. Virgil van Dijk has played a lot of games recently as well, so he's going to have to come off. Canate is going to come on for the last few minutes. I don't think it's going to matter how many substitutes we make, how many changes we make. I think the game is all said and done. 5-1 on aggregate, 4-0 uh, on the day. And Gomez is looking to add some more to the tally. Salah can't get it past the defenders. I mean, to be fair, there was about 10 bodies blocking the goal there. But, you know, I would have liked to see him dink it over them. Maybe tuck it into the back of the net. Almost tucking that header away. And I say almost very generously as it's gone straight at the goalkeeper. But we've just been too good today. Two shots... To, their, to our 24, they've just gotten a third, and oh my goodness, an XG of 0 0.06 is, is probably the lowest XG I've ever seen. And this is in a Champions League semi-final. You'd expect a wee bit more, but we, we have shown plenty in this match, and we could even have a wee bit more in the tank. As I've said about five times, I thought it's all over. Now, I thought the chances were done, but we're still creating more. We're hungry. We want that victory. And I think we want a very convincing victory. Canate, the fresh legs, moving forward into Robertson, who plays it forward to Mane. Mane lets it run, and he plays it back to Robertson. And now we're playing down this left-hand side, hugging it, trying to find some space for a pass. Robertson doesn't find it, but he does eventually. Comes into Mane, Musiala, and you can have a convincing performance in a big game without Musiala getting his name onto the score sheet. He's saying, don't you dare forget about me don't you dare forget who the best young player in this team is don't you dare forget who the best young player in the entire champions league is it is musiala and he has helped secure our place in the champions league final and we are going to be facing i have no idea i have absolutely no idea who we're facing boys and girls it is going to be either manchester united or manchester city let's simulate four together and find out on wednesday the 4th I just have to simulate a couple of days. And you know what? You're coming along for the entire... You know, we're even saving the game. We're saving the game. You, you have to view it. You have to see the admin, the heart and the desire, the raw emotion that goes into every single moment of this football manager save. And it's only a couple of clicks away. It is Diego Jota. Giant pleasing performance. It's probably like two more clicks away, by the way. You know, it's not... It doesn't just happen overnight, boys. Well, it is going to happen overnight. And is it going to happen right now? I think this click is the one that's going to send us through... Who are we facing? Man City or Man United? It is Manchester City. And they are going for their first Champions League win of their history. And we are going for our second Champions League win in history. And is this... It, who, who won it last? It was... Oh, yeah, of course it was Chelsea. I was about to say, was it back to, is it going to be back-to-back -back for Liverpool? No. Year, year before the Chelsea that they won it. But Man City have now got two... Champions League finals in a row. They lost their last one, but they win this one. I mean, Liverpool won their, lost their first one and then won their second one. I see a bit of a pattern, but we're going to do everything we can to stop it from happening, and we will be covering that game 
in tomorrow's episode. And of course, we will be wrapping up the Premier League season. Not that it really matters, but you know, it could, could be interesting to see what happens on the last day of the year. And oh my goodness, I'm nervous that this is not going to save. Come on, lag, please. Stop lagging. Let's see the schedule. Give us a schedule. It happen- this happens quite a lot. There we go. There we go. And it is Aston Villa, the last day game. Brilliant stuff. So we'll, we'll play that game, and then we'll verse Manchester City, and we will hopefully be crowned champions of Europe, as well as champions of England, and we're ending this video right here. Don't forget to tune into tomorrow's episode. It is going to be a goodie. Then, of course, we're going to do transfers even more. Subscribe to the Rexel Film YouTube so you don't miss all of that good stuff. Like this video if you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you all later.